Oh my goodness, you guys, sorry. I went to change something and it She wanted just to show you something and instead she turned it off. Cancelled. Why isn't it getting big? Oh, I don't Jen, know. your camera hates me. Uh, you need to stop messing with cameras. I know, tell me about it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this real fast close up. What I mean about the blunted ends. You can see where I blunted that end and how it fits right in the big oversized V right there and then the same on this side and um that's that's the point i wanted to make is that makes it way easier to to kind of be able to function and, right. to, and to make this project easier than than it looks right right definitely oh. easier than it looks another trick jen didn't do it i didn't do it i didn't press it open but pressing these open uh helps quite a bit too well, because sometimes they're going different directions, mm -hmm. um, and she can't press red to white. She's just not capable. I can, but I can do it. I was really being lazy. Pressing to the I side know. is just faster. But yeah, I, another trick on these is to make but sure that you're following that instruction. I wanted to press it because we now get we a have nice a straight, straight line, line, top and bottom, rather than it being offset, you know, an eighth of an inch or whatnot. So these get assembled. Once again, follow the instructions because you're going to lay it out and you're going to be like, I got this. And then you're going to have created a situation where you need a Y seam. Okay. Don't follow the instructions. Um, but they're easy. Guys, they're all in here. It's, it's really so easy. This tiny little pattern piece of paper has everything you need to know, possibly, <laughs> to make this table tower. It's really amazing to me. Um, and I am not a huge... Like when I taught this class, I'm not a huge pusher of tools necessarily. I want to be like, no, you can do it. Guys, if you don't want the ruler, the templates are in here. You can just trace them on a template plastic. It's there. You don't have to buy the rulers. Um, but I love the rulers. It's great. So um, anyway, what I was saying. So when you assemble these, you're going to assemble like this is a row, this is a row, this is a row. And you create six of those V units six of those triangles and then what you're going to do is you're going to assemble three of them together and then three of them together and then you have another row straight and line. then you have a straight line you guys there is no such thing as a wise thing on this guy and i love anything that's fun and different that's not squares that doesn't involve a wise thing well this doesn't love wise i hate wise i'm gonna teach her to like him one of these days no she's not but anyway i hope you enjoy this this is a fun project if you want to make a quick gift or a quick and, and to freshen and this, up your decor. This can work with a lot of her patterns. I was playing with it the other day with the, um, any of the table toppers. So like the Lucky Charm pillow, making that out of the eight and a half inch size on the Hexamore would make a really good sized throw. Yeah. It's just following the pattern. No more pieces. It, it's, it's like your half hex ruler that you could get from like a Missouri star or whatnot, but it's already on this ruler that does right. It's a half other hex things too. plus a 60 degree triangle. So anyway, my point is like you can take these patterns of hers and totally play with them. Um, another thing to know about Julie's rulers is they have designed, I mean, no, like 60 patterns that use her set of her like three rulers. Right. And so you don't ever have to feel like you spent the money on a ruler and you're never going to be able to use it again. Because there are so many options of things right. to do with those products. So anyway, I hope you have fun. This was a fun project for me. I did it one night. I think my husband was out of town and it was after the kids went to bed when I made it. Because that's what I do. And um, it was really fun. Um, finding it was not quite as fun, but it wasn't bad. Actually, it wasn't bad at all. It was the inside that wasn't fun. But... um. They're fun, and we are, in fact, I'm going to pick up some fabric because I am starting my nebula quilt this weekend because I'm spoiled. And so plan <laughs> on seeing bits of that on our social media because that's also what I do. That's why I'm spoiled because I have to, I share it with you guys. It's your job. It, it's my job. It's my job to be spoiled and show you guys what I get to do before you get to do it. That's what I tell people all the time. My job is really hard. I, I get paid to make nice things and to teach people how to make <laughs> pretty to things. Play with early release fabric. It's a right. hard bite. It's it's a terrible job, um, guys. It's terrible. Anyway, so have fun. If you want to do Nebula, guys, sign up because, like we said, we still have we a couple blocks of the month spots. We get more once they're gone. Right. And, uh, but we will have a few complete kits. The mm -hmm. kits are, you know, 300 bucks. 
So if you want to space that out, <laughs> right. feel free to do the If you want to space month. it over the year. Julie is also, if you sign up on her journey to Nebula, which is just her free tutorials along the way, you guys. Um, she is giving doing some free patterns on there right. with these products. And then on top of that, she is going to put out a video every month of the block of the month showing you how to do it. Right. So you have like there a will class. Be like, yeah. Tutorial every month to walk you through all it. the way along. But they're like really said, they're not, not scary. You guys, Jen and I have done I've hard done zoom in the hard, last few months. Yeah, and they I've are also not hard. done hard projects. And this isn't it. Nope. This just looks hard, which is really my favorite. When it looks like you did something really complicated that and, and it wasn't wasn't complicated. They're, yeah, I love those. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Sorry about my technical errors. <laughs> and um, we'll see y'all uh, on Thanksgiving. Time. On Thanksgiving. From my house. From Liz's house. Because I ain't coming over here. Yeah, you would think it's my mom's house. We should. Um, anyway. That's another story. Whatever. We'll talk next week. Right. But we'll was. see you at my house next week. It's a, it'll be great. Yeah. Bye, guys. Right, bye. Ooh, what are we baking next week?